Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am an independent contractor and trainer. In this episode, I am going to discuss the changes that C++11 made to the standard min algorithm. So let's include our algorithm header. And let's play around with standard min a little bit. And I'm just going to create a function this time. And I'm not going to really be doing the whole like return from main thing that I tend to do because I really just want to look at the assembly that is generated for this function, whether or not it has been called. So if we wanted to get the minimum of these three values in C++ 98, we might do this. And you can see that the compiler does um, a series of comparisons and then moves out the resulting value from my min. C++11 added this handy little utility though that lets us do the minimum of a range from an initializer list. So we can make this code do something more like this, which takes significantly less effort on our part. And these two compile to be exactly the same, and we're compiling with Clang with all optimizations enabled. But it is important to note that the compiler is actually having to create an initializer list, which is essentially a temporary array on the stack, and pass that to min. So Clang is able to optimize this away, but if we take it to G++, we can actually see the moves into the temporary array that are happening and the comparisons that are being done and then an actual loop over the array looking for the minimum value and returning it. So unfortunately this could add a significant amount of overhead depending on what you are doing. So let's see out of curiosity, if there's maybe something that we can do in C++ 11 or 17 to make our initializer list version into a variadic version and maybe make it as efficient as doing the manual expansion ourselves. So to do this, we need some way of doing an expansion of our variadic and let's do that with creating a variadic min function. I'm going to be using this decal type auto construct so that we get back the exact value that is returned from our standard min calls that we are making ourselves. And just for the sake of reducing any confusion here, I'm actually going to call this variadic min. And we know that we're going to take all these values by const reference because that is what standard min does. It takes by const reference and returns const reference. So we're just going to keep with that. It'll keep it a little bit more simple for our example. So we have our variadic function that is taking a set of values um, and we will now try to actually build our standard min call for these. So to do that, we're going to need a pointer to what the return value is going to be that we can keep reassigning to the minimum thing. And trust me, this will make sense in a second. Now, the problem that we just created for ourselves is that this can take between zero and infinity parameters, and we need it to take at least one for this to make any sense. So let's add that in. And now we have a pointer to the first element. And so what we want to do, and I'm going to implement this with C++17's fold expressions, but it could also be done in C++11. So we'll start with the C++17 version. And we're just going to say retvel equals the pointer to the result of calling min on the retvel and on the next value t that needs to be checked against. And then we do a comma and our expansion and close. And then we can return our retvel. So on each iteration of this, it is going to reassign the pointer retvel to the current minimum 
between the last value and the next value that needs to be compared against. And this is preloaded with the value f. So this should work with between one and infinity things. So we're going to test it. And if we did this right, we should see pretty good output. Right, this needs to be a pointer to const. And now we have our three different versions, and we can see my min 3 is doing a compare, a move, conditional move, compare, conditional move. And we are getting a compare, a move, conditional move, compare, and conditional move in our first version. So we have all the efficiency of the first version, uh, regardless of what compiler we're using and the flexibility of being able to pass in a variadic number of parameters. Now, this does have a couple of problems, but I can leave this as an exercise to the viewer to figure out how you might solve them. But if I were to, for example, let the third element be, say, an unsigned int, we should get a compile time error here because min is not going to be happy comparing two different types. It doesn't like doing that. And our pointer is not going to be able to point to an either an int or an unsigned int. These are both solvable, depending on what solution you want to take. But at the very least, we can get a better compiler error from them using some static asserts. So this is C++11's standard min changes and our variadic take on them. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.